let's say you have a cat blog and what you want to do is now that you've written several articles you want to start getting some more traffic and when you post links to your articles to social media you want them to be displayed nicely for example if you post a link of your blog article to twitter you would want it to show up with a nice picture your title, and a description. So today we're going to be looking at the gem meta tags, which will help your Rails application accomplish this. The meta tag gem is a very simple yet powerful gem, and it allows you to set meta tags in your HTML, covering different things like titles, descriptions, keywords, fav icons, RSS feeds, and other things. So it's going to be able to provide your search engines as well as social media networks more information about that page so they can sell them nicely whenever you post a link or whenever your website is parsed by a search engine so it can then display better information. So to get started, let's add the meta tags gem to our library and don't forget to run bundle and resource start your application. And then we'll create an initializer file which will create some limits around each one of our tags. So with our title for example you want it to be up to 70 characters or about 10 words. You don't want it to be too long. Similar with the description, you want that to be up to 160 characters. And your keywords, you want to limit those to about 20 words or up to 255 characters. And then in your application layouts file, you want to add in the display meta tags into your head tags. And then in your controller under your show action, because this is where we are displaying our article, we can start adding in our meta tags. So first we're going to call the set meta tags and we're just going to set a title of our article. And then at the top of the page, you can see that it has set our title. We can also add our site name and this will show a cat blog with the pipe and then our article name. So refresh on our page, you now see cat blog with the pipe and then our article name. If you do want to reverse this action, it is fairly simple by just passing reverse true into here. So now refreshing, you now see that the name is first and our site name is second. We then add in our description just by passing the description and then linking to our article summary. We can also add keywords. Here I'm just generating four fake keywords, but you can have a list of keywords or tags that you pass in a array here. And then inspecting the HTML, you can see that the meta tags, description, and keywords were automatically added to our page. And then to get the nice Twitter image that we saw earlier, we can pass in Twitter card summary. We can pass in our site. I'm just passing in this Twitter handle, at crazycatlady. I don't know if this really exists, but this is just a demo here. The title, description, and then the image that we want to be displayed. And once you have pushed your site live, you can go to cards-dev.twitter.com slash validator, and then you can actually put in the URL of your article, hit preview, it'll show you what the card should look like, and it'll show you if there were any errors caught. However, Twitter's not the only social networking site out there. So Facebook had developed a while ago something called Open Graph, where you can pass in similar information here. It will then be displayed appropriately and look nice when you post a link on other social media sites. And Facebook does provide an Open Graph validator as well, so you can kind of preview what your card will look like once it's shared. And the Meta Tags gem also supports a few other options where you can pass in an alternate and if you have a different language, then you can pass in to a different site. And you can also include RSS feeds as well. Well, that wraps up this episode about meta tags today. Be sure to check out the documentation on GitHub because it does cover a lot of different things that I have not discussed. For example, with meta tags, you can also pass in pagination links, which will give a previous and next links indication to Google so it can kind of treat your pages in a logical sequence. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.